Good morning, this is Joshua coming to you again from the back of his little camper here in Chilliwack. Found a safe little hiding spot and so far the the local police haven't said that I couldn't park here, but I'm hoping that very very soon now and uh, you know within the next week though that doors will open for more permanent place to stay and sure going to be nice winter is coming and if you don't have a heater for your camper well you, you just don't stay warm and propane just gets everything damp you don't mind the camper but you do want to stay warm and I can just imagine what it is like for all these homeless that are sleeping outside here around the uh, Vetter River, the uh, Vetter River rats, as if come to be known, you know, these people sleeping out in the bush trying to keep their uh, their their. You know they they stay there. They don't come in for supper because if they do, then they lose their, their lose their space, their dry space. And, and there's so many people that's fallen through the cracks in society. And and you know, I look at all the churches here in Chilliwack, and you know a lot's been done to feed the homeless and to feed the poor. But man, when it comes to a place to stay. There's just a massive shortage of uh, co-housing for the homeless. And so my prayer is that, is that these little arcs, these uh, action response centers that were shown to me uh, by the Spirit of God four years ago can be built relatively soon. I've nearly uh, completed the, uh, the material layout of the, of the shell and uh, and there, the unit itself is designed on, uh, is built with uh, geometrics in, in mind. It's not built uh, conventionally. It's uh, kind of designed after a cross between a submarine and, a, and an aircraft, I guess. It would be a very, very strong design, all made out of metal. And to be metal skinned and uh, with a uh, little shot of fiberglass <clears throat> to kind of give it a inside insulation and plus your four bat or three and a half inch uh, bat of insulation on the inside so it should prove to be a very very strong structure and uh, and once the first one is complete I would like to uh, you know if, if the doors open up to uh, take a Hummer and park a Hummer on top of one of these little shelters just to show you the the, the strength of the unit so you know that you know they, they can go beyond or go much further than just being a, a place a little cabin for where the, the homeless can have their little spot you know safe to, to stay for for the night but they can be used for uh, any kind of, uh, you know, you can you can you can make a nice little uh, steam house out of it. You could use it to, to put your 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 storings in it, like like a like a little safe house. You can use it for grain storage. You can make one end a reefer and then the other you know, cooking facilities. There's. Uh, so many different uses as you be able to use it for because of the the geometric design <clears throat> that it is very very strong and for the most part it's uh, it's fireproof and should be able to withstand near uh, hurricane forest winds it's just a matter of having it secured but very very strong design and uh, you know they built trusses using truss designs and this is a whole building that's built on a truss design, so it's very strong. So this update is saying that it's, uh, you know, I'm working on the uh, materials list. 
and I've, I've I finished the cross section and uh, and I'll be uh, getting that uploaded to you so you can have a look at it. So once the unit is built, uh, I want to actually live in it in order to design the interior or have the interior basically thought out. But you you really need to live in it to kind of tweak it and to perfect it. And uh, and this would be for a place where these little units can be put up into a camp situation and uh, for the, so the homeless will have a, <coughs> a place to come back to and, and uh, something that would be a camp situation where it would have to be monitored, somebody would have to be there and uh, then I have a, another idea for a flatbed trailer that has full has a floating floor system and a and a roof that folds up, all made out of hard panel, uh, like a locking ladder system that that unfolds, and you'd be able to have portable shops uh, anywhere. You just and that way you'd be able to set up your prefab tables, and the homeless would be the first ones. They would get the first dibs on and and work in there, so you can have the the homeless. Or you have you can have have the poor helping the poor. I think this is a great idea and just like to get it out. So thank you for listening to to this update. There goes the train. That's my cue to say it's time for Starbucks coffee. Thank you.